All right, well, here is my official first garden video. Um, we have these, uh, I think, four raised planter beds here next to our house um, where we try to grow a few things. It's, it's nothing special. We're just kind of starting out trying a few things. Last year, things didn't grow very well at all. Uh, peppers didn't grow at all. Um, eggplant, nothing. Um, I did get a lot of zucchini last year, uh, and uh, we've been building up the compost pile. So in spring, I really put a lot of compost in, fresh from what we had, and uh, mixed it all up. I also put in some, uh, some lime and uh, mixed that in. And uh, the garden this year is pretty good um, for what we did plant. I mean, it's, it's very bare minimum. You got like, we have like one eggplant and one pepper plant. <laughs> so I don't know if you call that a garden or not, but at least it's, uh, you know, it, it's something. And uh, this year was a rough year because uh, we've been working and remodeling the house, putting windows in and new flooring and new tile and building a platform in the woods for a tent slash studio. Uh, so, the garden wasn't big on the on the list as far as priorities go, so uh, we just planted a few things uh, just because it's better than having just dirt and weeds in there. Uh, so let me uh, give you a tour of what we got going on in there. We just recently um, enclosed our garden in with this fence that goes up and all the way around it. Um, reason we had to do that this year is uh, normally we uh, free range our chickens. And uh, they run around, and man, we've lost probably about half our plants that we planted in the in the garden because of the chickens uh, going in there and rooting around. Um, the chickens are locked up now. We had an issue with a coyote coming and snagging one right in the middle of the day, um, and uh, so we decided, well, let's keep them in their uh, in their run um, for a while and uh, uh, keep them out. But that was the main reason we. Uh, we end up putting this fence up was to keep the chickens out. But I also noticed that we have a ton of rabbits that are here. And it's funny, just today I was sitting here uh, over at the table and uh, two rabbits were right here in the driveway and both dogs were just staring at them. <laughs> they, they, I couldn't believe it. That rabbit and dog, dogs chasing rabbits, that's, isn't that like what they're supposed to do? Uh, anyway, they were just watching them, both of them. So anyway, Quick little update. See if I can do this without <clears throat> shaking the camera too much. So here's our little raised planter bed area. Um, four beds. Uh, so a quick tour of what we got going on here. Um, oh, if you look down here, we uh, sprinkled the eggshells uh, down in here to uh, we have a lot of these giant slugs and they love to eat the to eat the leaves on our garden. So what I've been told is the slugs don't like to slither over top of these eggshells because they're sharp and it ends up cutting them. So it kind of keeps them away. Uh, I haven't heard one scream in pain <laughs> from sly slithering over one yet, but uh, uh, I seem to be getting a lot less uh, slugs in the garden. So it, that seems to seems to be working. Uh, we got a not so look good looking uh, tomato plant uh, right there. Um, here's a zucchini. We got uh, just one plant. It's amazing. One plant will will give us like a one zucchini a week. So uh, last year we it was just we were we had more than we could use. Um, we got some broccoli there and some lettuce. Um, I need to go through the lettuce and kind of separate it out. Um, and then uh, over here. Uh, is a uh, tomato plant it's almost five feet tall and it is full of tomatoes um, I think the beefsteak these ones are the beefsteak tomatoes um, I think um, I don't know if my tag is still there or not I end up buying it instead of getting it from scrap uh, make, uh, growing it from scratch uh, over here is uh, our potatoes we have tons of potato plants um, here uh, we planted some garlic. I think these are the garlic blooms. Uh, there's some onions that are down in there. Um, over here, some more uh, cabbage, I think. I think maybe that's what was over there, too. Uh, that's somehow a potato plant got left in this uh, raised planter bed. Um, I have a bunch of sunflowers uh, every year. 
Um, I save the seeds and I replant them. So we got that going on. We've got another tomato plant over here, which is looking pretty well. Uh, I got a pumpkin growing over here. There he is just starting out. Um, over on this side is my eggplant. Uh, it's looking doing fairly well. Something got to it right there. Um, so I'm not sure if, how well he's going to he's going to make it or not. Uh, looks like another zucchini going on there. Another one here. Um, another tomato plant. Uh, looks like a pretty healthy uh, um, uh, pepper plant right here. So we'll see how that one does. Uh, another tomato plant here. And those are, I think, are weeds. Uh, this is Julie's planter here. <laughs> I'm not sure what she's got going on in there. Uh, and uh, I think that's basically it. We got a, a lemon tree that's uh, here. Uh, we have to take our lemon tree. And uh, over there is our orange tree. Uh, we're in the Pacific Northwest, so I have to take those inside in the wintertime. Uh, as well as this uh, ficus tree right here. Um, but uh, anyway, that's kind of a quick tour of uh, what we have going on. But anyway, I wanted to share something with you. Um, I bought, uh, every year I buy like, a, you know, one or two uh, fruit trees. Uh, I got these uh, trees uh, here uh, in, that I just planted this, well not all of them, but some of them. Uh, I planted here. I got them at Costco for like $30 each. I think they're $30 each. And a couple of them I got from uh, Lowe's, around, once again, around $30, about six foot tall. I uh, was buying the cheaper trees that were like a foot tall, but geez, I have to wait, you know, t 10 times long longer to get the uh, trees to bear any fruit for them to grow up. So I figure, well, if I buy six foot tall trees, it'll be a little easier. Um, a little quicker for fruit to come on them. So I planted these trees uh, here and unfortunately you don't know really what you're getting until you've got them and planted and see how they work. And this peach tree that I got, um, man I got it and within a, a couple of weeks after I planted it uh, I had tons of peaches on it. I mean tons of them and then one morning I came out and looked at the tree and there, there were all these bugs all over all the leaves of the peach tree and they were just devouring it uh, I couldn't I just I couldn't believe it so I went online and I looked to see uh, you know what could possibly be what these bugs are and it turns out that they are weevils uh, and there's dozens of different variety of weevils um, and uh, peach trees uh, plum trees uh, they seem to be uh, pretty uh, damaging towards so uh, I looked it up and I ended up finding this uh, um, product. Uh, I'll, sh I'll insert it here, um, show you what it is. Uh, and you mix it up with water and you spray it in around the roots. What happens is these weevils, well, f f I'm not 100% sure, but they were all over the leaves and I could come out and I could pick them off. And then you would touch them and they would fall to the ground. Um, what I r read was is they have their larvae that are in the roots of the tree. So when you get it from the nursery, they're already contaminated with the larvae at the roots of the tree. Now I could be completely wrong, and that's one of the benefits of uh, this, uh, my YouTube channel and my website, uh, skywaterhaven.com. Uh, you can subscribe on there if you're stumbling upon this by accident, uh, and uh, you'll get updates on any time I babble about the garden, or at least my garden. <laughs> Uh, once again, uh, I am not an expert. I'm just showing you what, uh, you know, I'm new to all of this. So if those of you that are out there that are new also or thinking of starting your own garden, you know, subscribe to my channel and uh, you'll see some of the things that, you know, that I learn along the way. Uh, and these bugs on the fruit tree uh, is one of them. So anyway, uh, you mix this stuff up with water and you water around the roots and you saturate it. And these... Uh, I call them I call them nanomites, and uh, you pour it around the roots of the tree, and they go down. What they do is they end up attacking and killing the larvae that are down in the roots that are actually also damaging the tree. Um, so I did that, and within a week, uh, the tree started looking better, 
and I'll show the tree to you here now and it looks like crap it looks like it's ready to die um, but it's actually doing much better now than what it was I think I have a picture of what it looked like before it was attacked uh, and I'll post that here and uh, then this is what it looks like now you can see the top part is it looks like it's dead um, and I'm not sure if it'll come back or not and one thing with these with the peach trees is anytime that they're stressed out you get the sap that comes out from the, the trees um, so this tree was majorly stressed out and uh, I'm hoping that I saved it in time but if you look at these leaves here you know they look really healthy and green and uh, you know there's little new shoots coming out here um, so I'm, I'm hoping that I got to it in time um, but yeah you just sprinkle uh, you just water down by the roots there and uh, my poor peaches look at that I mean they were doing just so well it's just a shame uh, so anyway I'm hoping the next year this comes back uh, and uh, I can save it um, so that's uh, that's what's going on with the with this tree and then uh, I just uh, over here at the rest of the gar that orchard <laughs> uh, I was having trouble with deer and then this is my yard here and I don't really want to enclose this whole area where I have all my fruit trees with a, with a deer fence. So what I'm trying out is I have this bird netting um, that I use to enclose uh, my uh, bird run, um, which is way over there. Um, it's completely enclosed top and bottom to keep hawks and stuff from, from uh, getting my chickens, which uh, also happened. Uh, check out one of my videos. I'll try to link it up above here. Um, about the um, installing the, the netting. Anyway, I had a bunch of this wire or this uh, netting left over and I thought well let me let me put some poles around and see if it's just enough to deter the deer from eating the leaves. But this tree was doing so well and it, it looks like you can see you know right here that it looks like the deer even tried to climb up the tree. I, I don't know to maybe reach these taller ones but it really this this tree here and this one is a, a cherry tree uh, and it just beat the hell out of it. So I put this netting up, three posts around it, and the, the, the good thing is, is down at the bottom it's open. So my mower, when I mow, I can just come in here with the weed whacker and, and get to this without, uh, without any trouble. Um, so the bottom is left open. Um, it's not 100% because you know the deer could probably come up press his nose up against it and really push but he's just not going to have the luxury of just dining on the whole tree uh, as he's uh, she I should say uh, looks like there's there are does that come through here uh, it'll just make it a little bit harder uh, for them to for them to get um, got another apple tree over here and I just bought this one uh, last year and it's already got you know little apples on it um, but the I'm surprised uh, the, one thing about the deer is they know when the fruits ready you could be going oh tomorrow I'm gonna go out and pick some apples or plums or whatever and the next day uh, they'll be all gone so they they must have a, a, a calendar that says all right time to go get them uh, anyway so uh, I'm just getting ready to enclose this this apple tree up with some netting now let me show you um, down here um, all the trees I don't know that these young trees the deer just love to eat the leaves off so this one here I just put the netting netting up on three of these trees here um, so this one here got really butchered almost all the leaves are eaten off so I put this netting around it and hopefully that'll help but uh, my uh, pear tree down here here was completely bare they ate every single leaf off of it and uh, I put this netting up and look at the pear tree now. Um, this is a grafted pear tree. It's got three different types of pears on it. But the leaves are all out. Uh, not a single leaf is chewed off over here. Um, so that you know the netting seems to work pretty well. The other thing I kind of like about it um, is the netting's so fine you, you barely can see that there that these trees are enclosed, um, except for you know the big black metal poles going up. But I wanted to use the metal poles because uh, I don't want them to be strong and then I also when I weed whack I don't want to have to worry about um, damaging the poles. Um, so this uh, this I think is a good indication that this netting 
you know works and you know once again if, if I reach over I can you know I can grab these trees but it just it's just a little more difficult and, and I guess they just will end up going to whatever's the next easiest tree so now that I'm enclosing them all in we'll see uh, we'll see what happens uh, when they can't get to any of them um, they still have uh, I have a plum tree there and over over back beyond there is a uh, that's a pear tree it, and then there's an Asian pear tree behind that. So that's pretty much what's going on in my orchard. Uh, oh, and then uh, this other one, I bought this plum tree here. And I, when I bought it, it, they let it dry out and it was almost dead. And they ended up taking uh, $15 off. So I paid $15 for this tree. Uh, and I thought it was going to come back because I saw some leaves on it, but they're all of them end up dying or the deer chewed them off or something. So I, I don't have a whole lot of hopes that this guy is going to survive. Um, and it could be because it came probably from the same place. Uh, it could be that the uh, the roots down there uh, have those uh, larvae in it that's killing the tree. So I should uh, probably I, I don't know. I, I should probably try at least to water that with some of those nano mites. I just don't know if it's gonna come back or not. So we'll see. Um, anyway, that's the update uh, in the orchard and uh, I'll check in with you uh, a little bit later.